The STS-120 crew members arrived in T-38 jets at NASA Kennedy Space Center's shuttle landing facility in Florida for the terminal countdown demonstration test, typically held about two weeks before a launch. Commander Pam Melroy and pilot George Zamka head up Space Shuttle Discovery's crew that includes mission specialists Scott Parazinski, Doug Wheelock, Stephanie Wilson, and the European Space Agency's Paolo Nespoli, as well as Expedition 16 flight engineer Daniel Tani. The crew addressed the media before getting down to the business of launch rehearsal. Uh, it's a pretty big week for human spaceflight, and we're very excited to be a part of it, uh, launching uh, the Node 2 and beginning the international labs and the partnership of all the many countries that are participating in the International Space Station. The astronauts practiced emergency exit procedures at the launch pad, drove M113 armored personnel carriers, checked the fit of their helmets and bright orange flight suits, and attended briefings on security and range safety. Melroy and Zamka took to the skies in the shuttle training aircraft, performing landing maneuvers. This modified Gulfstream jet is designed to simulate a shuttle's cockpit motion and landing abilities by gliding unpowered onto the runway, just like the orbiter. A thorough inspection of the launch pad was also on the agenda. Outfitted in cleanroom bunny suits, the crew inspected Discovery's cargo stowed securely inside the payload bay. On the final day at Kennedy, the astronauts participated in a full launch dress rehearsal that included a simulated launch countdown that took them to the moment just before liftoff. After three days of intensive training came to a close, the astronauts left Kennedy for their flight back home to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, completing the next mission milestone, leading to the upcoming launch of Discovery. The STS-120 mission will deliver the Italian-built U.S. Harmony module to the International Space Station. The module will be used as a future connecting point between the U.S. Destiny Lab, the European Space Agency's Columbus module, and the Japanese Kibo module.